Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and Sorcerer Mickey has returned to his regular meet and greet spot. And officially starting today, masks are completely optional for fully vaccinated guests. So I wanted to come out and take a selfie with Mickey and then also ride some rides, eat some food and enjoy a Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And wow, it is such a beautiful day out. And like I said before, today is the first day that masks are completely optional for fully vaccinated guests. So you can wear a mask if you want to, or you don't have to wear a mask as long as you're fully vaccinated. And that includes all indoor locations. So you don't have to wear your mask on the rides or while you're going into restaurants, or you could wear them. And I kind of got used to it, you know what I mean? I've been doing it for so long. Now there are certain things that I do miss, like on rides, like riding Soarin' or Flight of Passage with a mask on. I feel like that kind of hinders the experience, but meeting characters and taking photos with the mask on is something I really, really didn't like. And now Sorcerer Mickey's back, and he's my favorite Mickey. I can go and take a photo without having to wear my mask and I, I love it I'm so excited it definitely looks like it's a very busy day in the park today we're gonna check out some of the wait times but I did buy lightning lane for Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway and also I got the genie plus now I'm not too sure if I can grab any lightning lanes with that but we're gonna see what we can get when I decided that I was going to come to Hollywood Studios and see Sorcerer Mickey, I bought the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Lightning Lane individually because I feel like it's appropriate to get me all hyped up to go meet the man himself. It cost me $8 to skip the 65 minute wait here at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So we're going to ride that first. And then also I spent $15 for the Genie Plus, but I didn't get any selections yet. So we're going to have to see what we can get. But I think Chippendale is over here on the grassy knoll. And I want to go say hi to them. Oh, it looks like Chip has an acorn. That's kind of cool. Oh my lord, it looks like Chip and Dale are having a picnic on the grassy knoll in front of the Hollywood Round Derby. That is the cutest thing ever. Look at this. They both have acorns and then they have a picnic basket and a little blankie. Oh wow, look. <laughs> that is so awesome. I really love these character sightings. I think he's putting the acorn away. Yep. Putting the acorn away. <laughs> Why is he wrapping the blankie around his head? Looks like a nifty bandana. I like it. I like it. That's the way. Very stylish. Fedorable. <laughs> now let's go ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And this is going to be my first ride without a mask in a long, long time. For a time there, Disney actually did take away the mask and then they brought it back when the cases started rising and now it's universal, it's all over. Disneyland, Universal Studios, everywhere has now made it optional for fully vaccinated guests. I was trying to get Rise of the Resistance as an individual Lightning Lane purchase, but no luck so far. And a lot of people don't know that once it's sold out for the day, it doesn't mean that it's gone for the whole entire day. They actually pop back up. So if you're in the app and you keep on checking, uh, they'll actually pop back up. And that's what happened today for Runaway Railway. They were sold out when I first checked, and then I kept on going in and tapping the app, and then one popped up, so I grabbed it. It feels a little awkward not to be grabbing a mask once you walk into a building because I'm so used to it. And I did bring my mask because sometimes you're like in a very crowded space. And if you feel like wearing a mask because you want to be safe, then absolutely, there's nothing wrong with that. And that doesn't mean if people are wearing masks, they're not vaccinated. It's just their choice to actually wear the mask. And there's nothing wrong with that. Before I was talking about how you have to keep on checking the app if you want to get lightning lanes So I went to actually book a lightning lane for the genie plus and I was able to get Tower of Terror for five o'clock And all I did is just keep on pulling this down until it popped up and they will always change So like Toy Story Mania is at 450 and th things will come and go as you keep on refreshing 430 310 and I just pull that right down and bada boom just like that. Just keep refreshing now it's time to head on in and I feel a little sad because my magic band, this is my Epcot Forever magic band, the tab broke so I can't uh, put it on my wrist. I'm just going to carry it around and I love this one and I don't know how to fix it. I even lost a little tabby there but uh, yeah, time to head on in. 
Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Woo. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. It looks like they extended the queue indoor here too. That's something uh, new I haven't seen before. Usually this was the uh, fast boy separation point, but now that's still standby. After this, we're gonna head over to Red Carpet Dreams so we can see Sorcerer Mickey. And I think he just came back like two or three days ago. So this is all brand new. I haven't got to see him yet. I did get to see Minnie in there when she first came back, but Sorcerer Mickey, he's my favorite. And he just makes me think of Hollywood Studios. Want to take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you there. Who, me? Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? I guess, but it's going to be a lot of paperwork for both of us. Thanks. Be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. Well, that says to train, so this way. <laughs> I really, really miss the Great Movie Ride. I love Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, but I just miss the Great Movie Ride. I don't know why I'm feeling this way recently, but it's been hitting me hard. So that was a lot of fun, and it was nice to actually be on a ride without the mask on. Like I said, some rides I feel like the mask did kind of like hinder it. Like, you know what I mean? Like anything that has like special smells or whenever they blow like wind on your face. I kind of felt it here at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway when you go into that run, uh, that one room with the tornado. But it got me thinking, now that masks are optional, can we bring food and drink in line with us again? Because if that's the case, I need to go get a coffee and ride the people mover ASAP. I have to I have to find out because this is a game changer. Now I think it's time we head into Red Carpet Dreams and it's a 35 minute wait. But I think this is the only place on property where you can actually go and stand in a standby line to meet Mickey and Minnie in special outfits. I think this is the only one actually right now. Today I'm wearing my Pixar Roosevelt shirt and I love this shirt. It's got all of my favorite Pixar characters on it. It's even got the Pizza Planet truck on there. It's got Mike Wazowski. It's got the aliens. It's a really colorful, bright t-shirt. Now it's time to head on in. I love these interactive posters in here. We have Hollywood Dreams and then we have the Book of Dreams. And they're so cool. And I think uh, we're next. Minnie's right around the corner. We're gonna see her first, and then we're gonna see Sorcerer Mickey. Hey, what's his name? Hi, Minnie. How are you? Are you doing well? Yeah? 
Absolutely. I know, right? It's very beautiful in here. Carpet event. Yes. And I like your dress. It looks fabulous. Thanks. Seems like you're about to go to a nice Hollywood uh, dance. You know? He's got it, yeah. The bell of the ball. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, I know, I love it. And I also like your hat, too, and your umbrella. Yes. Oh, wow. Prepared for all types of weather, you know what I mean? Oh, very, very <laughs> clever. Oh, well, thank you so much, Minnie. Can we take a photo? Yeah? Oh, awesome. Minnie is so sweet, and now we're gonna go down the hallway and we're gonna meet Mickey. Look at this hallway. It's got more of the interactive posters on here. I just like it. Ooh, what's this one? Footlight Follies. And we got little Goofy right there looking all dapper. I like this one a lot. We got Clarabelle the cow. Wow. Claire Cluck. Claire Cluck. This is a really cool one. And this is like uh, MGM Studios. Well, uh, yeah. And, but it says red carpet pictures. That's a cool one. One of the things I noticed, none of these uh, photo or meet and greets have a photo pass photographer. So you can do it from your phone or the cast members will take photos for you too. But no photo pass photographer yet. Oh, there he is. Hiya, pal. How are you? Good, good. Oh, wow. I love it. I love, I love the sorcery happening here. And I love your sorcerer hat. That is my favorite. That is so awesome. This is so amazing in here. I love everything about it. I know you got the brooms, we got the mop buckets. We've got it all. Look at that view. Wow, mesmerizing. Seriously, I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that is cool. That is awesome. Thank you, Mickey. Can we take a photo real quick? Yeah? All right, awesome. Sorcerer Mickey was awesome and his little meet and greet area there was so cool It's so well themed and they also were playing phantasmic music in there, which kind of got me excited That's one thing. I really really hope they bring back soon Phantasmic was such a great nighttime celebration where you get to just sit down relax and just chill out for the night Because everything else you're kind of all crammed in and you're standing but not phantasmic You kind of just kind of chill out Last time I was at Hollywood Studios, I was talking about how I can never get a reservation for the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. And since it's right across from Red Carpet Dreams, I decided to see if they had any walk-up availability. And guess what? I'm on the list. They said it's about a 20-minute wait, and I'm excited. The only bad thing about it is if you do a walk-up here at the Sci-Fi, you sit in the back on what they call the Flying Saucers, which is kind of just like a picnic table, instead of being able to sit in the car itself. Kind of like at a drive-in, you know how they always had those seats in the back or by the concession stand where you can actually sit down and watch the movie? In case you don't have a car, so that's where you actually have to go sit and eat. But I don't mind, I just want to get some food and watch some movies. Here is a look at the menu, and they're known for their burgers. They have the drive-in barbecue burger, they have the classic American burger, but the one that I always get is the feature film burger, and this is a seasonal offering, and they switch it out, and I always get it because it's always something different, so I'm uh, pretty excited to see what it is because we're definitely ordering it. Filming in progress. Do not enter when red light is flashing. We're heading in. And you're going to sit in the car too. One way, enjoy. Thank you so much for coming in. Ooh. In case you want to go to the restroom, this is our restroom over here. And of course, just like in any other drive in theater, they've got the refreshments in the back there. Well, I got lucky and I'm able to sit in a car, but I'm kind of surrounded by plexiglass and it's really close to my face. But isn't this so cool? I love it. I can't wait to watch some movies. Walt comes up on there soon too. I'm gonna be really quiet because we are in a movie theater. As you're sitting in your car, they actually have little speakers on the outside, just like a regular drive-in. So that's really nifty, isn't it?
Rockingham shop, we have a glimpse of Normally, like I said, you, uh, if you're a walk-up, you actually sit back here uh, where the saucers are, and I'll show you, but because they put this plexiglass in, I think it accommodates more parties of two, so you might actually get a car. She's a girl who loved a man. A man who, in a flash, became a living threat to humanity. The feature burger is a pork burger, so it's a pork patty with a pork belly and pork brisket with a slaw and also a special sauce. I asked for the sauce on the side though and it does come with caramelized onions and uh, I'm going for it. Nice little fancy burger. <laughs> a 60 foot giant in the streets of Las Vegas. Right there is the saucers that are in the back, and that's usually where you go, but like I said, we kind of just got a little lucky today, and I'm so happy. It's so awesome in here, isn't it? There he is. There is the man himself, Walt Disney. Here is the burger itself, and look at this bad boy. Look at that pork brisket on there. It looks so, so good. I can't wait to dive into it. Then we got a little french fries, and then here's the uh, special sauce. I don't know what the sauce is, but we'll try it. This looks so, so good. Take the little spear out of there, and uh, now it's time to try it. Here we go. First bite. There is so much going on with this burger. It is so good, though. I love it. I'm going to put a little french fry on there. I love putting french fries on my burgers. This one has a little bit of everything, though. Let's dive into this burger again here. I feel like I gotta lift the tray up with me. While the beach set twists to the big beat sound of the Del Airs, swinging out with six rocking hits. While the cycle gangs burn up the road and strong arm their way into the party with fists flying. While teenagers prepare for a secluded slumber party. Well, that was awesome to dine in there. It's a little difficult to film only because it's very, very dark and also it's very quiet. So I didn't want to talk a lot. I wanted to be courteous of everyone around me. So uh, I couldn't really show you as much as, I mean, I would like to, but I did get to show you some really cool aspects of the restaurant. It's one of my all time favorite themed restaurant. I mean, the food is okay. It's just like burgers. I remember one time they had a hot dog hamburger that I loved. And like I said, they always change out the burgers. So you can always check to see what they got going on, but I love it just for the atmosphere on its own. I wanted to stop and take a look at some of the wait times to see if there was anything else we can do. Rise of the Resistance is 155 minutes. Tower of Terror is 125. Uh, Slinky Dog Dash is 95, which is kind of low for Slinky Dog Dash. Toy Story Mania, 65. Rock and Roller, 70. So it's not as busy as the other day when we were here, but it's still pretty busy. I think I'm gonna actually head in and do Toy Story Mania. That's one of the indoor attractions that you don't have to wear your mask anymore. And plus, it's, it's kind of fun. I love Toy Story Mania. Looks like the standby wait is 65 minutes, but I don't think it's 65 minutes because the line is not outside. It's all inside the attraction. So we'll time it and see what it's like, but this is not looking like 65 minutes. The best thing about Toy Story Mania has to be Potato Head, though. Step right up and take a rollicking ride through our gallery of games. Now huh? now surround me. Some will even confound you. Our games will test your skill like nothing else ever will. Well, it looks like the wait time was pretty accurate, and it took just about 60 minutes. 60 minutes on the, uh, on the button. Today, I'm actually going to be playing with a friend, the Dapper Danielle. Hi, everyone. Are you excited? I am ready to conquer and we will be the best score in car. Yes, that's 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 the goal. That is the goal. I'm ex oh yeah, it's going down. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to be able to film a lot because we're going to really try to get a good score here, but there is a lot of different secret scenes that you can unlock, and uh, I wish I could show you. Maybe one day I'll come back and make a whole video about that, but today, it's game time. All right, first rule, don't waste your arm strength on the practice round. It's true. Yeah. This is just to, like light stretching. Yep. Just stretch out the fingers. You got to conserve your energy. It's true. <laughs> We're gonna go nice and easy, and I'll let you guys know the score at the end. I mean, unless it's a bad one, then I probably won't let you know. <laughs> Ready for the practice game. Go ahead, pull the strike. Yeah. Lots of 
You got a good one? You're all calibrated? <laughs> we have been delayed, but we're doing pretty good. We're doing good. Don't waste your strength here. None of that. Hold time. <laughs> it is kind of cool to see it in here without actually having to like look around. Like without like spinning around. Look, I didn't even know that wall was a puzzle over there. That's really interesting. I like how we keep on getting delayed and then we can give you a progress. We're getting there. Oh, oh we're going, we're going. Oh, oh. my arm. Oh, the bicep. Oh. Hey, everyone. Let's see. Is it enough for the best in car? Oh. We did good, we did good. We both got a deer. That's not too bad. My accuracy is too. 30%? 30%, that's really good. That's nice. Now let's see if we got best in car. Oh, we best at the hour. Yeah! Best in vehicle, best this hour. Nice. Nice. Best this month though is 577,000. You know that's a cast member. That's a lot. So that was a lot of fun. We got over 500,000 in combined score and we got best this hour, which is pretty fascinating, I, right? I hadn't seen that before, so I didn't know it was so cool that you uh, ended up getting yeah. that score. So good teamwork. There we go. All the secret little levels inside the rooms and I was pretty impressed with ourselves. Yeah, we did good. I want to make a video. I'll show you guys some of those because I think it is fun. But like I said, you have to come out and not play the game. You just got to film. So it's very different. But how can you film and get it? You have to have like an empty car yeah. next to you and then prop them up on like a, a side car. You need two, so one watching the screen and one watching you as you play. That's a lot of work. Challenge accepted. <laughs> now I think we're gonna head on into the Legends of Hollywood, do a little shopping, sparkle on the Sunset Boulevard. I just love coming out here, it's so nice. And uh, Sean joined up with us. Hey Caitlin, friend. If you're watching this, I'm not buying you anything. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> wink, what? <laughs> Ever since I came in here and I saw those cool power line shirts and that dark wing duck shirt I keep on stopping in to see if there's anything else for some reason this store uh, on its own always has things I don't see anywhere else and that's uh, Included this magic kingdom shirt. Look at this the magic kingdom Walt Disney World. I love this shirt I mean that is really really cool and we got some more Baymax love down here. I Didn't see this. It's not on the uh, display rack, but Baymax there on the bottom. It also looks like they have a new spirit jersey to go along with the Baymax one. And this one's for Animal and the Muppets. I don't like this one as much, but this one's still on my list. The only thing is I don't like this collar part here. I always just talk about the spirit jerseys. I don't know why, it's just something about them. Now that we've done a little shopping around, I was looking for the Paging Mr. Morrow socks if you haven't seen them. Uh, they weren't in that store, so we'll have to go check out the other one. I think uh, now we'll head over to Baseline and kind of just chill out. I really love Baseline for the atmosphere and especially at night. It is so pretty over here. <laughs> Look at how cool it is over here at Baseline with the lights. The vibes are great, the music's nice, the beer is good. It's always beer o'clock. I decided to grab a nice little Hefeweizen, sit out here on the patio with the lights and just relax. So, cheers. I call her big. I ended up getting one of the pretzels and this pretzel is one of my favorite pretzels. It's not in my top three, like uh, my list before, but some of those pretzels are the same exact pretzel, except for the different sauces. But I like this one and I don't use the sauces. Beer and pretzels go very well together. Mm -hmm. Now I think we're gonna make our way down Sunset and take a look see at the Tower of Terror maybe. I wanted to actually stop into the Tower of Terror and you can always tell whether or not both elevator shafts are working and it only looks like one is working so that's why it's 120 minutes and I recently checked the app and this is the highest weighted time in the park right now. Even higher than Rise of the Resistance. That is pretty crazy isn't it? Luckily, I booked the lightning lane earlier today because look at this line as we're walking through. It's no good whenever there's actually only one elevator shaft. Like this is, this is super, super long hair. But it's cool that we don't, we get to ride it without our mask on. When we got up here, there was basically no line. 
for the lightning lane, so I'm lucky that I grabbed that, but that was the only lightning lane that I got with my $15. So I paid $15 to ride the Tower of Terror today. <laughs> and that's not good. That's not good. I mean, I love Tower of Terror, but I don't know if it's worth $15. Look at the moonlight over there. And also, if you guys seen recently, they added the special photo pass package to Hollywood Studios and Epcot. And I noticed on one of the advertisements that you get to come up here and take a photo, like over here. I think that's totally worth it because it is an affordable price. They were only doing it at Magic Kingdom, but now that they're doing it here, I might be a little bit interested. I mean, I wouldn't mind having my photo over there. This would be a great spot for like engagement photos or wedding photos. I like it. Also, now it's the first time riding Tower of Terror without a mask on, so that kind of feels good. It smells very dusty in here, and I, I think the smell is stronger without the mask. What do you think, Sean? You, I, I miss the dust. You miss the dust? It does smell more dustier. This is where you would normally be able to go to the other shaft if you wanted to, uh, so it tells you to please use both sides, but like I said before, it's closed at the moment, and that's why it's such a super long wait. And I feel like this has been happening a lot because last time I was at Hollywood Studios, it was the same case, and uh, maybe something major broke in that elevator shaft. Something very dangerous. Looks like we're number three. Special character supervisor Thank you. Oh. Hands are up. Ooh. The dark side of Hollywood. Make sure you much too good. Special jackpot. Ten thousand. Permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Hello! Now that we got done with the Tower of Terror, I think we're gonna head over and catch the projection show on the Chinese theater. Now, I just recently found out that they have two different shows. They have one that is all dedicated to live action movies and then the animation one. Now, I know about the animation one, but I don't think I've ever seen the live action one. And it's also awesome to point out that this is the only nighttime show right now on Disney property that has Walt Disney in it. Walt Disney. Ooh. How long is it since you had a world premiere? <laughs> well, of course, the big, uh, the big important premiere was uh, Snow White, but we had a couple after that. Strange don't count. He used to have a meet and greet here. Right. He had a meet and greet at Hollywood Studios. That. Yeah. Wow. Welcome to the freaking Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that Mickey Mouse. Oh, that is cool. So that one was super awesome. And I don't know if you guys heard me talking uh, during like some of the uh, projections that they put out. That's not like the main, main show. That's just all the live action ones. But Doctor Strange did have a meet and greet here at Hollywood Studios. And I thought that was cool that they put him on the projection show. And now the animation one is gonna start. And that one I like a lot because it starts off with Steamboat Willie. And I, I feel like there should be more Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse in the nighttime shows like 
Harmonious and Enchantment. I don't think Mickey or Steamboat really, I mean, Mickey or Walt Disney are in any of those. So, like, it kind of blows my mind. Hollywood Studios proudly presents the wonderful world of animation. And with that, I think we are done here today. It was a lot of fun hanging out at Hollywood Studios, going around riding some rides without wearing the mask, and also seeing Sorcerer Mickey again, because that was fun. And also hanging out with the Dapper Danielle and my friend Sean, and just having a good day. And ending it actually watching the animation show, that was a lot of fun. And honestly, I didn't realize that there were two separate shows. I always kind of watched them together. So it was really awesome. And the ending to the animation one with Walt and Steamboat Willie, that was phenomenal. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.